Wait, there's no logo. Are we supposed to be quiet now? Or were we supposed to be quiet before when I was talking about diarrhea? A diarrhea lantern. That's the best part. Well, the lantern isn't diarrhea. It was it was a lantern. Now it's diarrhea. It okay. isn't a diarrhea lantern. <laughs> That'd be I'm a little lantern. disappointed. Could you just put the di- diarrhea into the lantern and you, light it? You As you probably could. They did the poo rocket on Mythbusters. This is one of the things. Like, I, mean, I, I grew up with pets, and I grew up with dogs, and I love dogs. But I'm like, man, you know, I kind of want a dog, but I want, I want, but I love the responsibility of not having a dog. And then I'm like, but then I want a dog, but then like diarrhea is everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I don't have a dog for a reason. Yeah. Because <laughs> the I, phrase diarrhea everywhere is, if, if, if I have, I mean, I, have, I had a party myself if there's diarrhea everywhere <laughs> is the only scenario. Yesterday I remembered why I hate cats. Uh, and yeah. Fucking cats. Well, I, I ran home after work to take the dog out so that there wouldn't be diarrhea everywhere. And then I did, changed my shirt and got out of my work clothes a little bit. And then I was going to grab a couple small light games to bring back to the gaming thing. So I had my duffel bag on the ground in the corner that uh, had Shadow Hunters, Love Letter, Hanabi, Ricochet Robots, and Koo in it. So all my like, like, little lightweight yeah. games. And I went to pick it up. I'm like, what do I smell? And what I smelled was about a half-inch pool of urine inside the duffel bag. Because apparently the cat has decided that's where he was going to pee. Now, to be fair, you could accuse me of peeing in that bag, too, because you just listed things that I'm going to... I know. <laughs> it's like, it's like Shadow Hunters or the cats. You trained him. <laughs> I, that's why I knew you'd appreciate the anecdote, because yeah. those are not games that you particularly enjoy. Also, yeah. Brian's urine smells like cat pee. I, I train it that way. This I, cat's urine doesn't smell like cat pee. It smells like some different thing. That's how we know when she's pee- when he's peed on stuff is because it doesn't smell like cat pee. <laughs> it smelled a bit like cat pee. Yeah. It's like an off tinge of it, but... yeah. It's a you, special you, Were you all smelling the stuff? Yeah. We well, we came there. home and I'm like, oh, it really smells like cat pee now. Well, because I, it didn't. Like, it didn't down in the basement. And then once Correct. I lifted the duffel bag and took the games out, it released the aroma, apparently. So when I got home, the basement smelled like cat pee. And so I had to apologize and spray some Febreze. And he does have, like, nice French vanilla Febreze. I'm no longer sad I wasn't there. <laughs> with with, Rams, with random person from Pegasus. The Febreze was Kevin, nice. right? His name was His Kevin. His name was Kevin. Yeah. His character's name was Brian. Who it was. was that? Was that one of Jordan's friends that showed up yesterday? Andy. Jordan, who? Oh, well, there's, there's a random person at our place last night too. I, I'm still confused by. Oh, I get random people kept showing up everywhere. But he doesn't know. Well, Andy's doing tech things because apparently the stream somebody's hearing buzzing noises. But he's uh, an Australian, so it's probably some devil bug inside of his head. Yeah, it's something, in his earbud. Something buzzing. Crawl, something crawled into him overnight. For where? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm, that was that was that was weird because because somebody asked me a question like five minutes ago. Like, oh, because he's on the delay for the, <laughs> on the delay. I heard it. <laughs> is it a five minute delay? Not no, it's, minutes, like, it's, it's like, like ten seconds. Second second it was, it was enough of a delay. Who was the other person, the person at our place yesterday? I think it's one of Jordan's friends. All right, I, okay, sure. Somebody <laughs> Jordan knows, I guess. Yeah, yeah. The, at the USC event. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have no idea who it was. So I guess he knew Jim, so he might have been at some other UFC event. He sounded event like Travis. From I thought it was Travis. I come on, I'm like, why is Travis watching UFC? <laughs> but so, we had Travis. Yeah, you had Travis. Unless you had the real one, and we had other robot Travis. I don't know. <laughs> well, the, I suppose you could have multiple Travises everywhere, theoretically. Because he's a Cylon. Yeah. Travis is. is always a Cylon. Poor Travis. The two things that always happen in Dark Moon is he's always quarantined, like, immediately. And it's always the correct thing to do because he's always an infected. Like, he's never... I don't think he's ever even got into play as an uninfected ever. Yeah, he, guy. he... he spent They almost like, won, though. They got us up to he, five fatigue tokens. Yeah. He spent two turns thinking, hey, if I XO these people, they'll let me out, and you don't get out. <laughs> to be fair, we never had dice to do it even if we wanted to. That's no, true. we never even got that... That thing was broken when we started the game, and it was broken when we ended the game. That is true. <laughs> We could not call votes even if we wanted to let the Cylons out. Nope. And my name's Brian. So I did not put out a tweet out earlier on today either. Oh, no. Yeah. I was playing WoW and then I was playing Battle Force. And then, yeah. I spent three and a half hours assembling my Blood Rage broken t- token like insert. It's beautiful. Did you have fun? Did yeah. It was like, well, I, I, I threw in House of Cards because the new season came out, and I just like basically spent like five episodes of uh, assembly and reorganizing and watching the videos online of how to put this thing together. I had to read some technical manuals. I assume it glues together too then? You no. It's all, it's, all it's, 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 like, it's like 12 individual things that are stacked together and form up pretty nicely. Gotcha. Mm. It's I'm not like a Voltron. It's pretty awesome. The actual individual things for the each faction is, is kind of cool, but they're not, it could be slightly better, though. But all the monster holding things, it's great. Gotcha. 
and it all fits in the box nicely. Even yeah. with like your extra expansions. Yeah, it stuff was built for the expansions, and even the card sleeves are built for if they're like the things that hold the three sets of cards has has enough room if you want to sleeve them. So they built it with the intention you would sleeve your stuff. Nice. Yeah. I I was able to fit. I was previously able to fit everything for uh, King of Tokyo in mine, and after I got the, the broken token, it even fit even better. I have more room in there. Yeah, I could not fit all of Blood Rage uh, before the uh, before that thing. Mm. You weren't breaking it hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> True. You dislocate a few limbs and it'll fit right in. I could. Could have. So my name is Andy. I'm, I'm Nathan. You've been? <laughs> said I'm Nathan. You've been Nathan? I've been Nathan for as long as I can admit. I'm Casey, also known as not Katie. I'm John. Also known as not Jeremy. Our, our, later, our Jeremy pick, become uh, not pe- John. People did enjoy our tweet of, the, of you and Jeremy together. <laughs> with the same polls, drinking the same coffee, it was a pretty. My good coffee was better. Yeah, well, <laughs> he had chai, according, so. according to Jeremy, his coffee was better as well. Mm. well I believe that. Well, he had chai. You had coffee, so you were the one. Who Jeremy likes coffee. being wrong. Yeah. Well. God, if we can get a picture of both of you guys playing like pop balloons as well, that would be amazing. Pop balloons. The pop. Jerry's game. Oh, Jerry's game. Oh, I love Jerry's game. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. Jerry's game. Yeah, Jerry's game. Speaking of Jerry's game, I saw so in the in the um, Rick and Morty thread on the Something Awful forums, a guy posted he did a mod. All of the soldiers in his XCOM Two mm-hmm. are Jan Michael Vincents, <laughs> which is such a great reference. XCOM Two is so many mo- having the player made mods available for that game at launch has been ridiculous. There's so many billions of mods already for that game. Yeah, but so many yeah. voice mods and. Every Jan Michael Vincent. It's pretty cool. That got me to watch. No, oh, sorry. That that got me to watch uh, Airwolf the first, the the pilot and the the first episode. And oh my god, watching Airwolf, you should do it at least once because that show is amazing. It is. Uh, it is eighties. <laughs> it is very eighties. Oh my god, it's painful. It's... I love how every villain in that show always had a uh, helicopter. Oh yeah. Like, there never was like a dramatic chase scene at the end where they just got, you know, in their Ford Festiva and mm-hmm. tried to drive away. <laughs> well, the whole first episode was about him uh, infiltrating the place to steal the airwolf. Is basically what it was. And then just explosions, more explosions. And a meep. And a meep. I tried to do it outside of the mic. So are we going to have a, a Casey's corner this week? What? I tried to do it last confused. week, and she wouldn't do anything. Yeah, a topic. Like Katie's Corner, you just have a random topic. We, we surprised Katie with it, too. It's like, like, what does Casey want to talk about today? We, get, we forgot one thing. What did we forget? Welcome to episode 151 of the Crippled System Podcast. Reversible Prime. Upside Down Prime, too. This. Yeah, I know. But I mentioned it last episode. <laughs> last episode, I mentioned that the previous episode was a Chen Prime because this episode would be a Reversible Prime. <laughs> and so it's just a refresher course. Gotcha. Oh, God. Fucking math. <laughs> I had a nice discussion with a customer at work today about whether or not one was a prime number. When is, when is, uh, oh. when is the next prime number? When's the next prime number? Uh, yeah, so we can, so I can, you know, prepare. Not, so we can not be there for it. <laughs> yeah. So <I> just, <laughs> we don't need to go through this discussion every single time we have an episode that has three numbers in it. Don't we? No. Three numbers in it, just like Trump. What? I don't know. Trump has three numbers in him? Yep. Drumpf. Trump. I don't understand. Well, I, I, I don't understand your prime number crap, so. <laughs> I, I just was, did it one I, time, so I decided to stick with it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll stick with it, all right. I don't know. I don't have anything for that either. And that's Casey's Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woo. We have a topic this week. Do we? Yeah, that we were stealing that other topic. We're oh. gonna, we're, we, we, we've talked about it 17 times, but we're going to bring it up again. Nothing like an 18th. Yeah. Well, we then it's legal to have sex with. We haven't actually <laughs> talked about that specifically. In I'm sure we have it maybe? half a dozen times. Probably. But it's a good t- You even said that. When you said we should talk <laughs> about this, I know we've done it before. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> yeah, very true. We talked about it the last time we played Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. No. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> playing Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. Let me look remember up with the all game. the orcs? You guys talk about it. I'm yeah. going to look up the game and then see if I've played it. Casey doesn't remember Dark Moon. I do not remember that game for that, too. I don't. I kept thinking about it last. I was like, I don't remember this at It was all. yesterday. Yeah. We talked you, about games we played. No, what was no, the topic? We, like, we like played it last year, apparently. Oh. Hungerford's topic. I don't know. The Last Insider. 
Well, first of all, who cares what that guy's talking about? Was that about? the big map? Hungerford's terrible. No, no, it wasn't the last. Look at me, I'm Hungerford. I lost 73 pounds. Everyone look at me. Burp, burp, I have one chin. <laughs> Fuck you, Hungerford. So, <laughs> well, no, okay. <laughs> Jesus, guys. <laughs> hey, I'm his favorite judge. It says so right on my forum title. <laughs> that, that can change pretty quickly, too. <laughs> you might have somebody who has the power of that. No, um, I, found no it, I found it odd, though. So they had that article up, and usually they keep insiders up for like a couple days. But they replaced that insider like right away the next day. Well, with, they, with Will Schick's, uh, well, PP, they're, they, I mean, it's up forever because it never goes away. You just correct. have to use the previous correct. day. But their Project Press has some, some weeks they do insiders every day, and some weeks they're like, ah, we're lazy. So they do like two. So it just depends on the motivation level of, I think, a given week. They don't really have like a, a set how fast they come out. It's just like how fast someone finally got done, you know, playing Pokemon in the office. Pokemon. Some time to write one up. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be here for episode 157 or how I'm going to be late for episode 157. What? Because that's a prime number. Is that the next I was prime number? If it was 157. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the next prime number. So I don't well, know. I could divide it by 12, so it must be. Well, I mean, the easy way to check the next ones weren't because 153 adds up to nine, so it's divisible by nine. And then uh, I'm going to kill you with math someday. <laughs> That'd be the best way to die. Oh, yeah. Then look forward to it. And then four, you know, two, four, and six are all even. And then 155, obviously, it's five divisible. I mean, none of those are hard to disprove. C correct. Correct. But, yeah, no. I don't know how I'm going to be late to that podcast if I'm the one running the equipment. Well, someone's always late, so it's just your turn to be late. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really late. It's just when we start at is that it, point. Is that the one? Oh, you're pulling up the thing that we're... Okay, you're actually doing... He's thing really, I think. No, I, I, Andy's on your or Brian's on your phone. I'm gonna move Brian around. Go over there, Brian. <laughs> oh, you're a pirate now. <laughs> oh, stay on his face. Uh, won't let me. You don't want to know where I put your bubble. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so is that the one? Yes. The so the topic was the thing. No, no. Yes. The thing is, don't be a shithead to new players. First of all, I don't agree at all. <laughs> What? I'm just saying. Well, well, that was what makes it a topic. So the general, the, the the posited theorem is that you should let new players play, like and do what they want to do. And if they're playing more than ever with no jacks, or they're playing, uh, you know, circle with nothing but Brenos, you should just smile and nod and encourage them to have fun the way they want to have fun. Correct. Because the hobby's all about enjoying yourself. Correct. This picture Correct. says that you should strangle them. Well, Brian agrees with that. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I don't... The first part was you said, I, I, I agree completely. They should play whatever they want. Right. But you, you should crush them on the table, on the, on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Let them play what they want. Let them enjoy and then bury them into the dust. If they can rise up from the ashes, they're worthy to continue playing with us. If they fade away into the, into the night, they're little bitches and I don't care about them. <laughs> and that's... Yeah, I mean... But they play whatever they want during the process. I think that there's a difference between between uh, browbeating them into playing the way that you think they should play oh. versus educating them about the reality of the viability of certain things if they want to be competitive. I agree if, as well. If they're asking for advice, then yes, I'm, I'm more than happy to give them what, what advice that they want. But they, they really have to give that advice. Sure. Or if you're playing them and they're like, what did I do wrong? Then you know, I'll tell them what happened. In a, for example, on Friday night... I went to Baraboo to play with those people because I really had a private problem. I can't stop playing Xerxes 2. And I need to get more games in per week with them. I got to play them every day or I just go crazy. Uh, so I'm playing. I played Case a couple times. And my last game was against a new player who, he was, I guess he was new in Baraboo. He's still newer in Baraboo. He's or, new period. New period. So he literally has like the, 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 the Signar book out. He has someone's borrowing someone's war room. He has his own, I think it's his own. He has his own miles, but for some reason he doesn't have cards or war room or anything. But he, uh, he was borrowing a storm wall. That's okay, why I needed that's why I had worms. So he's playing, and he's new, and he's moving his stuff around, and he's having fun, and you know, he's and he's like trying to do things. And I'm, I'm I'm trying to tell him how to do it, but like when he like he tries to, uh, what's the name of the signal guy with a wrench? He can like he fixes Arlen stuff. Strange Arlen Strangeways. He's trying to cast his ability to cast invasion on a jack because he can has a star action, and he's going to try to roll for him. Well, you know, you don't have to roll for that. You can just, you know, just what it's an action, it's not just an attack. Of course, he puts it on his colossal, and I'm like, well. You did that, and now that actually doesn't, classes can't move out of activation, so suck it. 
Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, now you, now you know how to properly do it, and you learn what you can't do with Colossals. And now you don't have a Colossal anymore. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. I, I did kill his Colossal, but I also threw my caster away just because, I mean, I, I when I play, well, plus he was new. I mean, I, I was kind of, you yeah. know, but I was letting him make his attacks, and I would only pipe up if he was doing something like, atrociously, like, you know, wrong or whatever, but I was kind of just let him have fun. and Casting you know. evasion on your Colossals, moderately atrociously wrong. Well, yeah. you deserve, well, he'll never do it again. Yeah. Does it give right? it right? still plus the defense? And there was anything <laughs> he did this on turn one as well so i wasn't even i mean he wasn't it didn't even cost him the colossal it was, it was two it was three turns before i got in melee oh, with it okay. oh. it was just he was it was like he was just trying to use his abilities and i was just so it was so early it didn't matter but i think he had he bought him and he had him in the list specifically do to do that though because he thought it'd be neat a neat concept so it, never it would came. be a neat concept it would be a cool concept mm, almost like that's why it's illegal yeah and then it was just a matter of, you know, so I let him do all of his things, and we had fun. I guess and I could. I mean, I did blow up his army, but then, like, oh, my caster's too far forward, and, you know. Oh, and, shucks. But darn. I let him figure out how to kill him. I didn't tell him how to kill him. So, he, you know, he, he took a little bit longer than, you know, a while because he was new. and But he had the fun of figuring out how to move people around and do some stuff, and then he killed the caster, and I think oh, he was happy. I remember playing this game. Yes. <laughs> And he remembers orcs, orcs, orcs. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I don't know who the fourth, the fourth person was. It was you, me, Jim, and somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Some random person. Probably the guy from Pegasus who just showed up. And showed up it wasn't <laughs> Nick in your guys' basement during that era? <laughs> no, it was, it, was like, it was in the last year and a half. Oh, how come I wasn't invited? Maybe you were there. I Brian doesn't like you. I've never played orcs, orcs, orcs. I, no I played orcs must die. Yes. That's why I got Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. It was in the middle of me playing Orcs Must Die a lot. I remember you talking about that. There you go. But I, I have it set up for Thursday. We, well, we got so Galaxy there's Trucker. the game, Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. Yeah. Is that what's oh, there? there's like a cool tower and shit. Are yeah. there Orcs in a circle? Yeah. Yeah, look, there. there's like a tower, and you can get on top of the tower and, and fight the Orcs. Yeah. Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. No, we played Castle Defense. Yeah, it's that basically was, all it is. It's a defensive game. I yeah, know, it's kind of yeah. It's a defensive game. You you play wizards and you basically it's whoever can get who, when, it, when it's but there's you play X amount of turns and then whoever has the most or kills wins. I like yeah, games that, that have exactly a cardboard tower in the middle of a hex grid. Yeah. Orcs, 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 and um and uh, Nexus Ops. I really need to refresh myself. I, I would have brought Nexus. Uh, Nexus Ops is a, another great game. I don't play enough. That can be our next Thursday game. Yep. We're off we've topic. Uh, or we've yeah. wa we've wandered away. We're wandered. Yeah, the, the topic I brought, I brought us back. Brian smashing noobs. Yes. But I was very friendly to him. I let him play the game, and you know what? He still enjoyed himself. And I, I even went against my nature. I, I let him actually have some fun. I didn't yeah. tell him how to kill me, but I put my caster out there for him to like. This is Brian's solve cover the story because he fucked up and lost legit. He's like, oh, it's because because I was being nice to the new player. I'm on to you. I. It's he like, was far forward, and we were wondering why. Yeah. yeah I, I figured there was something really important that had to it's die. It's one of those things when you play it's, a list. When I'm playing, it was Holt. When, well, I'm, when I'm playing like a casual game. There was something important that had to live, and that was this random guy's enjoyment of the game. Yes. I think is the topic at hand. Yes. So a random guy that I, you know, so he's new, and he got to have fun killing something, you know. And he, he learned that, you know, you, even when you're down, you don't just give up. Because some people might be like, oh, I give up. You got, I, only have, I only have seven miles left. And no, he's like, oh, I'll figure this out. Which was cool, and I will say that and I will see when a new player sometimes they won't even try to figure it out. So it's a it's a good sign when a player. Because I mean, I'll say half the new players will be like, "Oh, I'm over. It's all done. I give up. I can't roll dice anymore." <laughs> and they'll just like walk away sad. I mean, you like stay away. I want I want the people that stay are the ones who try to figure out the shit out. The people who, who strive to try to solve that puzzle. Yeah, that's yeah. The kind of people I want. Other people get to like you know go in a basement. And that's how they, they I mean that's their basements. Leave me alone. It's pretty much how you you advance in this game. You have to figure out everybody else's puzzle. You have to figure out what that what that other faction's casters do, and that's part of the whole learning process of this game. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that, that's my only contrib contribution. You guys have any thoughts, John, Casey? You didn't let me win. <laughs> I didn't let her win. We're playing a platoon. We got like half an hour game in. It was a platoon game. I you were you're not new. That's why I didn't let you win. You you killed this all. The first time I've ever gone against you. It was you had like ever. Well, first of all, the first hey, game you I played won a, your last tournament. So <laughs> yeah, shut you, up. You're a tournament winner. I don't. Be, I'm not nice at tournament uh -huh. winners. You literally, we played up a two, and she had killed all but like three of my models, and she she it was like she had to have an officer. It was part of the scenario. Sure. And she sends her officer forward to kill like my third, my last. So I only have two people left. She kills a third guy, and then I'm like, well, I guess my other two people just charged. It was her last action, so my other two people just killed, charged forward to kill the officer, where she could have just like kept him back and then run me over next turn. I was talking well, about the fifty point game. Well, that's just you. I was playing a hydra. I was exciting. I got to, I got to kill him with the hydra. Did you cast a muck on it and spray? No, I did. I did do the star action spray for the game winning move though. I'm excited. I would I would play P Morgul 
with a hydra well, and a rhinodon reason, so I can amuck the so spray. What I did instead of having I like rhinodons with Pimoga uh, because of you anyway. First of all, I love I love rhinodons. I was playing Xerxes two, which has his feet, which is basically is you know I had the, I had puppet puppet master sure. and uh, signs of portents and signs of portents, so I didn't need the rhinodon. Are three rhinodons the best uh, gargantuan? Uh, well, I mean, when I play Rhinodons, I only play them three. I don't always play Rhinodons, but when, <laughs> when I, I do, do, you play three. I play three. That seems like a good, because that's what, like, three initial Thresher attacks and 12 Fury and uh, boosted to hit rolls. and One of my one of my, one of my multiple uh, Morgul it squad lists, is, well, that's always, which is also by <laughs> itself already a ridiculous statement, one of them is going to be three Rhinodons, two Archidons, plus like a Gladiator. You lost the sculpted uh, Pokeball. I gave you two for those Rhinodons. Yes, I did. Yep. Sad. Because I, I could have taken your Morgul, Morgul, chopped off his fan, and then put a Pokeball on his hand. You still can. I don't know. I, I have what have problems with Miles' heads falling off. I don't even like arms being chopped off and fingers being chopped well, off. If if the arm is chopped off, I will fix it. Yeah. Well, that's how I know. I, I have tool breakers, one with a head, one without a head. That's what my <laughs> card says. Like it's like instead of numbering one, one and two, it's like head headless. <laughs> Also, Xerxes Two is the greatest thing in the world. That's just my that's my that's my what machine that's Brian's corner. Xerxes Two is the best. If you don't believe me, you're an idiot. Dot com. And Zal Two is the second best. Heath, right? Yep. <laughs> We're doing everything out of order. We should do announcements. <laughs> we still haven't done Casey's corner. Uh, Entertain us, Casey. I don't know. How are you today? What did you do today, Casey? The, our, our listeners want to know. I did homework. Oh, boy. Tell <laughs> us more. exciting? What class? Financial systems analysis. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's got anal in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got fine anal in it. Uh, yeah. Well, it's got fin anal. <laughs> Fair. I mean, you pronounce it fine, but once you chop the letters up, that's fin. <laughs> but fin anal, I can do that. Shark fin? Yeah, or that guy from Star Wars, but he spells it differently. I don't think he really chose how it was spelled. Actually, his name is just spelled F-N. Yeah. Like, the character, like, in the credits, I believe, is F-I-N-N, but his actual name is just spelled F-N. Yeah. Which isn't in financial. No. Well, there's an F and an N. There's in. Oh, this is amazing. This is just like yeah. prime talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I blame Tort. If you convert Finn to numbers, it becomes prime. <laughs> Are you sure? Add yeah. them up. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Hold on a second. Uh. <laughs> no, don't, don't don't do it out loud. Would somebody else vamp? First of all, uh, uh, Tort Two is being correct in everything 10, he's saying 14. over there. Yeah. He's just, he's saying how great Scorn is, and he's correct. Is he actually saying that? Yes, yes. That's what Tort's saying. He says he's un 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 unstoppable, unbeatable. <laughs> No, and Nathan's it's not counting prime. his fingers. I tried, I, I, oh. It would be six nine one four one four, which obviously is what an even number. All? If you add six plus nine plus fourteen plus fourteen, mm -hmm. is it reversible prime? Is it prime well? That'd be is twenty thirty four. That'd be forty three, uh, which I believe is prime. It is prime. Mm -hmm. So F I N N converted in simple alphanumeric, you know, A one Z twenty six, <laughs> and then added together becomes forty three, which is a prime number. High five. <laughs> I might just I might just kill you with a knife. <laughs> It's not a spoon. I don't get I the spoon. No, it's just a knife. <laughs> I take but I'm gonna start credit. in like your like leg, and then work my way up. I take full credit for leading you down that path. <laughs> I'm glad it worked. In the end, it did. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if there's some kind of theory behind it now. What if there's other characters in the Star Wars universe that are prime characters that oh you can no. find out that way? Oh no. Han's the easy oh one to do no. right now. <laughs> well, we just have to do all of these ones now. Uh, you figure out Chewbacca. <laughs> and then we lost sure all of our Chewbacca. listeners. No one listened to the show after the day they talked about Prime Number. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be stupid, though, if you find out, you know, after 30 years of this, of this series going, that you find out all the main characters are technically just Prime Numbers? That would be amazing. <laughs> but no, like, the only ones that aren't are, like, you know... Anakin Skywalker is, but Darth Vader isn't, so there's sure. symbolism there where he lost the prime number <laughs> humanity when he became the half-robot Darth Vader. And oh, <laughs> so Tor wants to know what your PayPal address is again. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is true. I, I'll have to IM him that information. 
Speaking of which, announcements! Announcements! How is the Kickstarter doing? We're into stretch goals. We unlocked our first stretch goal, which is a pair of custom pint glasses, which is sexy. Sweet. Yay. The next stretch goal is uh, uh, bases. Too what? small, too medium, and too large. When does this end? It ends in like 18 more days. We're Are almost halfway through. Any? No. What? We're almost halfway through. Make a try of money. Uh, but we've done just over six thousand dollars. At seven thousand will be the next stretch goal, and then eight thousand is the last stretch goal, and that'll be custom uh, scenario templates, zones, right? Yeah, yeah. zones. Um, that's so that's cool. exciting. People should need to. They need to sign up for the WITC. People need to sign up to WITC as well. My uh, team is still not signed up. Although I have my team set up, I haven't actually emailed Travis. Yeah. Yet. We we like I said we haven't we've had a few signups. We've had fewer than I would have expected, but actually not really because it makes sense that a lot of people are being hesitant. We talked about this last week about how we don't have the final cost there yet. Yeah. So in 18 days or whenever the Kickstarter ends. So in about three weeks, we'll be able to figure out the final cost. Because well, when the Kickstarter ends, we'll know how much we have. I'll do the math to figure out how much that has to go to rewards and everything like that. And then we'll be able to see what actually still needs to be raised from entry fees. Well, I know sure. the and the Iowa teams are lazy. Like, they'll sign up the last Yeah, they're just lazy. They're too. lazy. I just have to. We, I mean, we, I think, I think, I think I, we, we've been arguing about a team name for a week. That's been what's holding my team back. <laughs> have you been arguing about it for like two weeks now? Probably. Mm. And, 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 and only some and only and only some people in the team haven't paid me yet, so I can't actually uh I don't know who. What? Is it me? Everyone else is paid? Yeah, everyone but everyone and oh. Jordan. That well, son of a bitch. Just take it out of the rent you give them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just short them rent. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah. that'll work well. No, yeah. I'll give you money this week. That's fine. Yeah. I can sign up. With well, I mean, even if you have like you know eight or nine teams, that's still like, like you know close to forty people. It's just a matter of yeah. Like, I think Ontario just had a hundred and twenty man team tournament up there. Ontario. Sure, whatever I said. Right, what I was I just. <laughs> Ontario. Wow, Ontario I murdered you <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> where is it? But you know where Ontario is. Like I was trying to figure out what the fuck Ontario Canadia. was. <laughs> I heard Canadian. Canadia. 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 Ontario. We're going down with that. <laughs> So they had the oh, uh, fucking Perth, God. The Perth <laughs> Championships yesterday ha happened this weekend. You familiar with Perth? Not even a little bit. Whereas, what's a Perth? <laughs> what's a Perth? All right, it's that shampoo, Perth Plus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For dandruff. Yeah, they Perth, Perth. 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 It's Perth is a city I kind of want to visit. Someday. It's a city in in Austria. Yeah, yeah, Austria. Right? Yeah, over by uh, <laughs> Hungary, right? Yeah. Oh my God. No, that's Austrio. Oh. <laughs> Technically, it's in Australia, but you know. Hungary is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hungary. Perth, Perth is in Australia. Son of a bitch. Is that where Rape Island is? <laughs> yes, that's where Rape Island is. Well, to be fair, that's lots of Rape Islands. There is, they just have one of the more official ones. Speaking it's of rape, I was talking to somebody at work one. about otters today. What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> Why are you talking are about we otters finish or rape otters? Announcements? Well, they're we the same thing. What? Otters rape baby seals to death. Yes. Like, what the hell, nature? I, I'm, I'm just, no. 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 Like, like, they're so cute, and they have their little paws, and they float down the they, river on their back, it. and then they rape baby seals to death. <laughs> and it's like, why, do, why did nature have to ruin otters? I'm pretty sure they've been doing that for a while now. Well, I know they have, but why? They've always been ruined. I just don't get it. Kim, because we were talking about killer whales and how they just torture seals for hours. Well, that's been, that's been known for a while. I know it's been known, watching the, vid watching the videos of killer whales messing with seals is hilarious, though. Yes. They hit them so high into the air. <laughs> but it's why? so amazing. I can watch that for hours. Like, I don't get it. If like, you could kick a, a seal into the air that like, long, high, you'd fucking do it too. That's why nature lets them do it. I guess so. I just, like, I, when I was, my analogy is you don't see lions, like, break all four legs of a zebra and they just flay them for hours. Like, they just kill them and eat them and it's done. Although I would watch that too. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, wow. We're talking about team tournament. Oh, yeah. on, on, on no, no, Tari, you. On we Tari. Perth. On Perth. Perth. Perth, Australia had a big championship this weekend. I only brought it because you were naming places you didn't know where they were, so I figured you didn't know where Perth was. Oh, I know where, I, it's I the know most where isolated city in the world. Perth is? Yes. I didn't realize that. What makes it isolated? It's, a, it's, it's like thousands, Australia. It's thousands of miles from everywhere, any did other you, city. 
Did you really think I said it was in Austria? No, no, I know. I, okay. Yeah, well, because no. Australia has, like, a coast that doesn't suck ass. They're on the west. Sea. And then it so has, Perth like, on a, the left. In a million yeah, miles of west. desert and death, and then it has Perth. Yep. Gotcha. I didn't know where Perth was in Australia. The other side of Australia from literally everyone else. Bad Australia. Yeah. Well, all Australia is bad Australia, but Perth is in its worse own unique. Australia. Yeah. The middle is worse Australia. Yeah, it's all desert. Desert. Don't, I'm, I'm, don't, don't, don't. What? Don't. What? Ooh, what? Is this a fight? <laughs> it might turn into one. I don't need you mispronouncing stuff. Cause he already did Ontario. I don't yeah, need I anymore. I murdered that, and I then I did Canada. I know. <laughs> Wait, did, did we anymore. just discover a Casey pet peeve? Oh, she hates it. Oh. Like, if I say rough, I'll go rough. So when I did <laughs> Miami... Every single time. Was that okay because it was a Will Smith I song or were the, you I, seething with rage? There was a little tinge. Of- you know, when I, I can't say wolf very well. When I say wolf, I mean wolf. But I, I always say wolf. That's <laughs> yeah. just how it comes out. Like I said, rough and rough. Look at all the wolves uh, over there. Like, <laughs> werewolf? <laughs> yeah, werewolf. Oh, no, a werewolf. <laughs> I pronounce it warwolf, but that's on purpose. <laughs> warwolf. 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 From uh, so the, sorry. That, that MST3K episode. Have you not seen MST3K episode werewolf? I don't even know what that is. It MST3K? Yeah. <laughs> I will fight you in real life. <laughs> it's a really bad TV show. Fuck okay. you! <laughs> There's no way you think that. I don't like it at all. Fuck they you. They talk during the movie. They, they, their entire concept offends me. Oh, it's uh, the people. They, all they do is they talk during the movie, make fun of it. I'm like, Mystery shut up. Mystery Theater, theater. Yeah. 3000. Like, okay. I get the movie's bad, I've but never shut heard the fuck it. up. You've never heard it called You've MST3K? You've never heard it called no. MST3K? No, I have not. I don't even know what it is. Mystery I'm Science Theater. Mis- I'm not, uh, no, hey. I'm not up to date. I'm you know, it's, it's from like 20 years ago. I'm only 25, so Fuck. I was only five. You know that Star Wars 7 is coming out soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, remind me if I'm wrong. I, I thought I had a bad dream. Are there a new Star Trek movie coming out? I, I, yesterday, I'm like, Star, Star Trek? Trek? Yeah, Star Trek. it like, looks terrible. I felt like I saw a bad trailer like a long time ago, but I don't remember anything new about it for the longest time after that. It's going to be terrible. But there is there it's was, okay. as good as the Ghostbusters trailer. Oh, that trailer was really bad. I'm sure glad everything was ruined for me because it wasn't going to be good anyway. I oh. had no problem with the trailer. I it looked fun. Hey, did you want any kind of, uh, you know, surprise or humor or um, uh, concern or conflict resolution to the scene where she's possessed? Because guess what? There's going to be none of that now. It's going to be a 10 minute long scene that you're going to stare at awkwardly and silently and then it's going to mercifully end. Why? Because the entire fucking scene's in the trailer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's more than that. You know, but that that's a lame complaint because they always do that in trailer. I mean, the tra- trailers for every movie is bad. I hate ninety five percent of trailers I see. I hate. I avoid yeah, I trailers. Agree. I try to. I just don't watch them. Then I let everybody else talk about if they were good or not, and then I'll go see the movie anyway. I'm like, I'm to the point where if I know who's in a movie, I know who directed it. I'm I'm going to be in or out based on that concept because I I'm, I'm more care about the writers and the directors, and then I just go <laughs> see it. But trailers are so bad. What you, what's Sorry. going on? Sorry. Casey, Casey is indeed the new Katie. Because she's I, just playing on her Katie phone. Katie was on the phone no, and doing homework. Do people back. Yeah, that's great. So, have you heard of this game called Candy Crush? It's pretty. I fucking hate it. <laughs> oh. Why? Because she doesn't like to crush candy. She likes to eat it. I do. <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> have a fair point. <laughs> so, your problem with Candy Crush is, crush is the fluff of it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the concept. <laughs> I would not destroy that banana. <laughs> I much prefer Wait, is there really bananas in Candy Crush? I don't have any idea. Okay. <laughs> the, it's, I have no fr- No, I don't know. Because I they don't could be the. Play the it. It's just like I don't like to play a jeweled game because it's just the same freaking thing. No. I'm not going to ruin I'm gems. Not I can. Into I can that. Why can't you crush gems? I don't. I'm not getting into that. But ruby powder, you can snort it. <laughs> you give superpowers. Man, would that shred your sinuses if you snorted a crushed ruby? Yeah, it would. <sighs> it I want to play Scepter of Zavendor. Are we? Are Why we aren't we? Still doing announcements? So we have a couple still. Oh, they, well, there's a team event at, at Dice Dojo this Saturday that looked interesting. That's, That's true. Yeah. It's coming Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. The Saturday. Is yeah, the twelfth. The twelfth. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. I. Yeah, it's this coming up Saturday. Yeah, and then the week after that is a 35-point thing at Misty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thing? SR. And a 50-point 50, 50 event up in Minnesota. That's true. They can at the that. FFG. Uh, yeah, I, I need store. to go to, At some point, I need to go to that store. I'm very tempted. I always want to go to that place. 
I do. <laughs> so there's two more yeah. announcements. And, and there's Adepticon coming up. And there is, on April 9th, there is an event over at Pegasus. Look for me at Adepticon. I'll be sleeping in my car. <laughs> the 9th? Not the 19th? Oh, no. Uh, it's I'll figure it out. Okay. I, figured, if, I got a big trunk. If I just have the back seat collapsed down, I can use the whole trunk as leg room and just sleep that way. It'll be nice and cozy. I <laughs> loved when you taught, when you when Dan finally found you. Like, I'm not going this year. You're like, oh. <laughs> I, <No. laughs> I had an, I got an ulcer of, of worry. I don't even it's not even affect me. Here's to here's to above fifty degree weather. Yay! Because I can sleep with a blanket. Thank you, humanity. <laughs> you destroying throwback. the earth has been mildly that convenient. Event? That is my Mark One throwback event. Okay, so that is happening. That is happening. Uh, it's happening April 9th over at Pegasus Games. Um, the idea behind it is we are using. Uh, factions can only take models that were available to their faction in Mark One. We're not using any theme forces, uh, not using any uh, current books except for Convergence, uh, the forces of Convergence, uh, forces of Cirrus, or is it Convergence? It's Cyrus. Forces of Cirrus. Well, Convergence is a name. It's just like Protectorate and Legion, where you Correct. the, the Correct. noun is the name of it, not the, the, the forces guide. book for yeah. for them, uh, and then also the forces of for minions. But Convergence, uh, you're banning the huge base models. There right? is no huge base models. Yeah. So it's basically I have a PDF that's built that will be posted up fairly on Monday when I post up the event. I just got I just got confirmation like a, well, 20 minutes ago that I can use the ninth. Nice. Because people, yeah, it'll be, it'll, that'll be interesting for cross-checking the list because people will show up and go, oh, that, that, cause they, they need to use a PDF to know what they can and can't use. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting because um, the very, when I was building this PDF, I was going through all the Mark I books, finding out what, what all played for what. The, everything was written in Mark I for four factions, as in, as in all the War Machine factions. The odd thing is, though, is that Retribution was a war machine faction at the very tail end of mark one like a period of like six months so that means all the mercenaries that were written for for them included included uh, retribution you should double check the no quarter that when they were introduced and everything because like you said they're they i know you said that this might be true so you should double check is I that they, i thought they had an exclusive and it, i thought when they came out they had an excluded what the fuck is the word i'm trying to say exclusion Exclusion. Yeah, but like, I want a version of, of excluding things that ends in a Tory, like excludatory, yeah. but that's not a word. But I feel <laughs> like there's a word there. But I thought they had a clause that excluded mercs. I don't believe so, because I, I looked through it pretty... I don't remember people playing them. Gudrun and... and uh, uh, things, Gorman DeWolf and stuff with Rat when they came out, and I think they were illegal. They didn't have that many mer Rats out at the time. You I have as well. You have the new quarters, right? I, I have those new no quarters. Okay. I, I look it up. I actually looked them up, and then I saw that there was no rules for it. If so, if I have other models, do I have to follow the Mark One rules for mercenaries or Mark Two rules for mercenaries? Because I mean, what if I have cards from Mark Two that say this works for this and it, it didn't? Want? So the you, list building is Mark One, and then correct. all the rules are Mark Two. Correct. All right. Correct. All right. So if yeah, like uh, who else? If forgetting about uh, Rhett because they're the weird one. But what's some other people who played for different factions than they do now? Uh, some of the well, some of the major ones were like uh, the minions themselves. The Doc, Doc killers. Oh yeah, Doc. Doc works for Protectorate. He still follows all of the Mark II rules for Protectorate, so he can't heal in. anymore. But he's not. He can be included in a Protectorate force. Right. Whereas in Mark II, he can't. Correct. Correct. Um. Some of the things in Mark II are not included with Mark I, like Wrong Eye and Snapjaw, you can't take with, with a Crix list. In fact, the only War Machine factions that could take those minion uh, lesser warlocks were Retribution and Mercenaries could take uh, Brun and Lug. And then that's, yeah. I thought the Mercenaries could take Rorsch and Brian too. Mm -mm. Wow, weird. No, it was just, just Brun and Lug only in Searforge. Crazy. Yeah, there's, I mean, it, it's, it's honestly not that. Not that bad to look at the list, um, sure. But I'm really curious to see how actually how people build lists for it um, if people show up for it. So I'm curious. What what, what are the prizes? Pins, coins? I would just mostly gift cards and such from the event itself. All right. Uh, it, obviously, we're gonna have uh, pins, the pins. standard steamroller pins. Sure, steamroller kit plus gift cards. Yep. Standard shit. Yeah, I might have some uh, prints and stuff like that to give away there too. Shut up, Casey. 
Fuck. I'm sorry. God. Exclusionary? Yeah, I guess exclusionary. I don't know. That was just a weird <laughs> way how Privateer wrote all their stuff back then, too. It, it, it would just say, like, Iris will not work for Crix. Well, because the assumption was that they'd only ever have those four factions. Correct. You know, and so they did not even think about, hey, what if there's ever a thing called retribution? Like, or a thing called co- convergence. Yeah, you know? like, they, that just hadn't even occurred to them. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yipper. Yep, yep, yep. Do you have a corner yet? It's your one job. I was looking at him. He hasn't talked like at all. Say things. I earlier. Amuse us. He Come likes to. On. You're supposed to come up with a quarter. Also, your microphone's quiet, so you need to get closer to it and talk louder. Okay. That was Better. one of the two things I told you to do. Okay. That's yeah. There you go. Corner. See, look how you have spikes over there now. Okay. Now we know that we can hear you. Okay. So my corner is I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I should be getting my car fixed soon because I hit someone a couple weeks ago. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, were they in something at the time? <laughs> were they in a was it like a grocery store? You're going through the store, or were they in their yeah, house? This is the fun corner. Okay, so no, no, we were going through a. Are they okay? Stoplight. Yeah, they're fine. They were in a truck. Okay. Uh, oh, so she's picking car. on things big. No, they're herself. in the truck. They're fused with the truck <laughs> after you hit them, right? They're so now you, part of the truck. You yeah. blew through a stop sign. No, no. That's what you just green, said. It was a green light. For him? No, no. Both of us were going, but okay. he was going straight, and I thought he was in a left-only lane. It nah. wasn't. And so I she's tried like, to I want to go left, too. Because okay. he's but going left. <laughs> and your lane was a left? No. Your, yours was a straight lane. Yeah. And his was a turn or go straight. Yeah. And you're like, fuck my lane being a straight lane. <laughs> I'm turning left. And he said, Wah! as you hit him. Pretty much. All right. This is all on tape now. Yep. <laughs> she told that. That's pretty much exactly what she told the cop. Yeah. Okay. Like, I thought I could go left, and I thought he had to go left, and he didn't, <laughs> and I can't. To be fair, roads are hard. Did it make, a cool, did it make a cool screeching sound? It did as uh, I put, tore her fender back out. Yeah. She <laughs> had to pull it out from the tire. Were you in the car as well at the time, John? I was in the back. There we were five, five of us people. in that damn car. Well, I've never heard this story. Yet. One of which was pregnant, so apparently so there were six people, <laughs> depending on your belief system. Yeah. Correct. And apparently, when you're pregnant and you get in a car accident, no matter how minor, you have to go to the hospital. So Lundine and my sister got to miss Deadpool, yeah. and I got to watch it for the fourth time. Third. Third at that time. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Wait, did you need two extra wait, seats? So like, did you use their seats when you got there? I reclined across. So your <laughs> pregnant sister is going to the hospital you're like, nah, fuck it, I'm going to watch Deadpool. Yeah, I was not going to wait around for that. They look fine. And, and you've already seen it twice previously. Correct. We had other people that were seeing it with us. Yeah, that was my excuse. <laughs> did they walk, since you were all in the same car, did they walk to the hospital? You're like, see ya. Yeah, no, we, we, off. we had just enough guy. time. At the corner? Yeah, at the corner Pretty of the much. hospital. It's yeah. like they had a gunshot wound during a heist. You just kicked him out of the car in front of the hospital. And like, don't tell him who I am. And then you peeled off and went to Deadpool. <laughs> Talk and roll, motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, look, you see that, you know, they got she's to make pregnant, tummies. so she's yeah, yeah, so yeah, roll, roll with it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't even feel bad. <laughs> what? I still don't. <laughs> You've seen it twice previously. Yeah, and I got to see it again. Which is better, sitting in a hospital or watching a movie? Hospital's pretty boring. I can do absolutely nothing to help in the hospital. Yeah. Why stay? It's your pregnant sister. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> and she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> the pronoun it. What did that refer to just now? <laughs> Which one did this she refer to? <laughs> They're having a boy, right? Yes. So I guess it was referring to the boy. The it was? Yeah. You're referring to the zygote as it? Yeah. Well, wow. it, it is I, re- I, I still refer to my niece, who is seven now, eight now, seven now, as it. She has a Is she malformed? No. <laughs> She's a redhead. So she's not four. Exactly. Wait, ginger or uh, redhead? Ginger. Oh, fucking, yeah, no, yeah. it. You don't humanize gingers. <laughs> exactly, and my sister's a ginger and the baby. That's how they get it's your It's a boy, soul. so God forbid that it doesn't become a ginger. When the, So when you hit the car, how much, I mean, so you, did the truck just use, take no damage? or did you, oh, the, did you? We bounced off the rust of the truck. <laughs> nice. It was dented a little bit. Was it just like one person in the car? Was no, it was people? a dude and his woman. <laughs> Were they offended? 
Was he going like, why hit me? No, he was actually really cool about it. He was visibly angry, but he stayed calm and collected the entire time talking to Casey. I was very impressed. I was stuck in the car for a little bit first. I yeah. suppose because he There was a fender that had to be tied to a out. car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, so you're stuck in the middle of the intersection just shut down at this point then? You're no, no, so she <laughs> pulled over. Well, you're, you're attached right the to the vehicle. Of, Did no, you two, no, like, no. drive together? <laughs> no, no, no like, so he, he bounced off, off and went to the next to road. The I kept going straight, so I'd get out of the intersection. Wait, hold on. Still I, I'm trying to visualize this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to visualize this. Was your fender attached to his car, but not yours anymore? No, no the fender no. was attached to our car, but caved in where the door couldn't open. It was your wheel well that the fender was in, Correct. not his wheel well. Correct. Correct. I thought you were, like, locked onto him yeah. via yeah, your I'm fender. Sorry. Okay. No, that would have been a much So you guys could have just drove away. Yeah, but she wouldn't. <laughs> she wouldn't. Okay, it was a Deadpool to see. I know, it's a Deadpool. <laughs> we'll, we'll call the guy later. <laughs> there was also a just, camera. <laughs> <laughs> just throw the insurance card out the window and yeah, carry just on. Throw it out the window yeah, and keep going. And the, the, the pregnant card. woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, Take she... care of this. <laughs> you got it, babe. Kick. <laughs> <laughs> she was by the door, so she could have. Yeah, her door yeah. wasn't fused shut. Correct. She would have to tuck and roll. That was my excitement, and that was actually fun fact. My first podcast night. Yeah, we came here after that. <laughs> you didn't talk about it. No. No. <laughs> That's such a good time. Well, we we had plenty to talk about that night. We did. Yeah, we talked about the tournaments because everybody here went to a tournament that weekend. Yeah, it wasn't necessary to talk about either. Car that was enjoyable. Sure exciting. Yeah, definitely. If you have something, what what else exciting happened to you guys? More corners. Yeah, that's the best corner. I more corners. I, well, I, did, I, not, not much, I did murder a guy the other day, but <laughs> not much really happened. I mean, you know, he was homeless, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> I mean, really a human. <laughs> I <was gonna> say <laughs> murder if they're homeless. Yeah. It's more of an animal abuse at that point. <laughs> I had tacos afterwards. We didn't think it was a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I want tacos. Yeah. I had Taco Bell today. I did not get one of their quesalupas because their commercials are so bad. I'm opposed to eating a quesalupa in my life. Well, is, 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 is it just like, a chalupa? That shifty thing? What? There's a Taco Bell commercial where like people are just shifting a little bit. What? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen it? Like they're doing the robot? No, no. They're just shifting. Like everything's frozen except that people are doing like a little shift. I think you're on drugs. <laughs> like I, think, I feel like I'm. Did you pause watch. your TV and like? No. Was, how do you? How do you? I was talking about the ones where they're like, "This will be bigger than the yeah. thing," and uh, then for no reason, that one gay Asian guy is laughing. Yeah, you don't want it. I don't get it. Isn't it just like a, a, a taco with like a, some cheese and another shell? I thought they already had that already. Yeah, I, this is like instead of this being a shell and then cheese and then shell, this is a hollow shell with cheese inside of it, which is functionally identical. Yeah, because they've already they've already done the cheese shells. Cheese shell thing. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. By the seashore. Yeah. <laughs> cheese shell, cheese shell. Down by, by the, the cheese shore. Yeah. Indeed. So, no, it's just another stupid gimmick. I'll stick with my tacos. They have decent tacos. I had a Mexican tacos. pizza. If you try the chicken tacos, it's worth it. I just get the beef tacos because they have lots of cumin in the meat, and cumin is the best spice. I think they put that in the chicken, too. Do you stick with the Dorita tacos? Not if they come with a combo, I do, but I never choose those. I just like a simple, crunchy taco. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell, it's I a like, delicious thing. I I don't like crunchy tacos. It's it's annoying to me when I bite into the taco and the entire bottom spine of it just breaks. Sometimes well, you need like a half a half a like a bottom. You put it on the side. What? Yeah. What? We, you, you rotate them and you eat them like a normal sandwich. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, that's not. You get a knife and a fork taco. and you just cut them up and then you just like eat them with you know. Yeah, that's fine like, too, like, like, but like but it, it annoys me when I'm eating the taco and then it just splits down the middle. Eat it from the top. No. I've done that. <laughs> it's, I nibble on. It's just to confuse people in the place. I don't like flour tortillas. I like corn tortillas. And so no. actual Mexican Ugh. restaurants Ugh. have corn Ugh. tortillas. No. Flour tortillas are bland, bland and they got that powdery shit on them. And corn fuck tortillas it. taste like corn. Which is delicious. Yeah, I don't like horrible, you don't like Fritos? Not, I like Fritos, but not when I'm not on my taco. Not, not, not on my you don't taco. like walking tacos? tacos? No. What the you hell? Don't, you don't just pour like, chili and cheese inside of a Frito bag? Why the fuck would I ever eat chili? What? You, I thought we were talking about tacos. Yeah, but he said pour chili and tacos. A walking taco is when you get the individual Frito yeah. bag. You is it open Christopher it, Walken? You d yes. Yeah, he invented it. So <laughs> and then you, you put taco meat And then you put it up your ass, like in Pulp Fiction, oh. and that's the reference. Oh, okay. You put taco meat in it. You don't put chili in, in it. In your ass? Yeah. Who puts chili in their ass? <laughs> I, mean, I thought he was a nice he, guy. I mean, come puts, on. He puts chili in it. We put taco meat in it. 
No, no. His ass? You guys take turns? <laughs> yeah. You just keep shoving things. When I do chili, they do taco meat. Then I do chili, then they do Casey taco take, meat. Do you and Casey take, take, take turns? Or just one of you have the responsibility? Like, chili would burn way worse what, than taco meat. That's what you call a Minnesota taco bar. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, and you have to say I'm sorry as it comes yeah. up. Speaking of food, I, I almost broke an eye contact. I almost brought some crackers and eggs for you guys today, but my my thing, my, I'm afraid people are. You guys, they got broken. Was that, Carry on. Hold on, I'm sorry. I just is that a uh, that's that's a uh, fuck. What is it? Name? Mulaney, that's is that a Mulaney joke? I don't know. Do you know what you're talking about? No. <laughs> I'm just laughing to I'm laugh. Sorry. <laughs> this is a funny anecdote and it's breaking me. Do your thing and then I'll tell the anecdote. So I wanted to bring the eggs and I wanted to share the eggs and crackers with everybody. But I, I make it and I eat it right away. And I as much as I love it, I don't know what the shelf life of raw eggs and crackers are. Like I don't want to make it <laughs> it's instantly <laughs> bad. Like I don't think I want to make it at four and just bring it over like three hours no, later. We would I, have to make it live on camera. I think I pretty much have to make it here. And then feed it to you. Because I, I make it and I eat it. I just think if I just let it sit on the counter for even a half an hour, I think that might turn fatal. Like, yeah. Yeah. Or you could just fry it. I've done that once just to, to try. I tried, you know, I did bake it. But we could do. But that auto. How quickly did Google auto complete what's the shelf life of raw eggs and crackers? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I search for this a lot. <laughs> I'm, I, I've, I've changed up Google. Uh, it doesn't actually have it in there. Okay. You, can, you might have to take both of them combined together. I think it, the 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 pro, the one the raw eggs will be the raw issue. eggs the is the biggest. Yeah. Issue. Well, the cracker might get stale, so I think that's uh, the real crackers issue. Crackers are fine. Yeah. That's, 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 the raw eggs will keep them fresh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but like raw, like I've eaten raw eggs before. Like you do steak tartare, right? No. Uh, okay. Nobody past 1973 except for me and Raylene does steak tartare. But what is a steak tartare? Steak tartare is you you. <clears throat> you season up some some chopped beef or ground beef. You know, just you get some nice fresh ground beef, and you season up kind of like you do doing meatloaf. You know, we put all the yeah, seasoning yeah. stuff into it, and then you make a little pile, and then you kind of hollow out the top, kind of like so it looks like a volcano, and then you just crack a raw egg into that divot, and then you just eat it. The no. egg, or you eat the meat. the whole the beef, all of it. So here's the thing: I like it's raw beef with egg on top. First of all, I thought steak guitar is steak. It's raw steak, not raw beef, because raw beef you, you can eat raw steak. And it's well, not terrible for you, but raw beef. He, will... he cooks the beef, right? Raw beef. No, is the it, issue. it never gets cooked. Well, if you make it properly, it would steak forty-five seconds earlier. Like you should get a good. You don't just go get some, you know, Walmart ground beef. room temperature ground beef. You get a nice cut of high-quality steak and you grind it. Now, steak and raw beef are two different things. If you're, if you're cutting up steak, you're cutting, you're not, you're, I, when you say beef, I'm thinking you're talking about ground chuck from the store. Not well, like actual, like a steak. What do you steak. think beef is? Well, I understand there's a difference, but there's still. But a, my point is, if you take a steak and grind it up, it yeah. is now ground beef. It, oh, you're gr you're literally grinding it up. You're not just like chopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. meat grinder. It's yeah, but still, but a steak cut's usually a higher quality. If you go like it's just like yeah, I mean this needs to be high quality stuff. Yeah, gotcha. but it's it's ground beef. It's not chopped like it's not like gotcha. little. It's not chopped steak. It's ground. I the actually ground like beef. just regular raw beef with some salt. Yeah. And Rob, yeah. steak tartare is basically just raw beef at this point, but the original version had the raw egg cracked on top as, as like a form See, of you had some you had some crackers in there. You got, you got, you got yourself a goddamn... You, we'll tell you what. We'll That's get some ground yeah, beef. I mean, there it is with like some, some bread, yeah, you know, some crispy bread things on the side. And, and you're making fun of my eggs and crackers, and you're well, eating raw eggs and meat. Fucking, um... Do you never eat, um... Cookie dough? Carpaccio? The hell is that? Carpaccio is fucking delicious. What is it? It's a carpaccio. This is steak. Carpaccio is uh, beef. It's it steak sliced like wafer thin okay. and then pounded to see throughable thin. And then you just shave Parmesan cheese and capers on top and then you just eat it. I would eat that, yes. Yeah, it's, it's raw. Not, I don't know what a caper is. I don't is. like the raw uh, part. It's, it's, it looks like a pea. It, it looks like a peppercorn, but it's okay. just like salt. It's okay. just like a salt bomb. Oh, I hate I hate the the little oh. chunks of peppercorn. No, but these aren't peppercorn. Sure, these are the solid capers. But capers, they're like soft. They're like a pea that's made out of salt. Well, you could just make, or you could just throw salt on a lot of salt on there. You could, but uh, fucking uh, oh, car um, capers are so good. Like Jordan, Jordan makes a, some really awesome uh, some beef that is a beef or what does he have? Oh, and you put uh, a arugula when, on top as well. What do you mean? Like, like for Thanksgiving? Yeah, look at oh, that. A little balsamic sure. vinegar drizzled on top. 
I've accidentally eaten that. Yeah, that's right there. You got the the thin the thin raw beef with some Parmesan cheese, balsamic vinaigrette, capers, and and um and then an uh, uh, arugula on top. I there believe when I had that, I assumed that it was fish. It was not in the end, but that's what I had assumed. <laughs> yeah. This looks like fish. Tastes like meat. That's probably beef. Actually, according probably to fine. this, it says you can make it with fish, but then you it's kind of like a taco where you say this is a fish taco. If you just say taco, you're not going to assume that it's fish. If you just say carpaccio, it's supposed to be beef. Gotcha. And that's announcements. Yeah. And you well, covered. I would fucking talk about carpaccio all day long. And you cover it in ketchup. If you're wrong, let's go back to Casey killing people. That was more fun. <laughs> Have you, have you murdered? How many people have you murdered? Her at raw beef was great. She was she was I visibly see, uncomfortable at the well, concept I think when of steak say raw beef. I, I, I just, like rare. I like steak, rare steak, not raw. I won't eat a raw steak because you need to cook it to break down the connective tissue. But the I point like, of steak tartare is by grinding it that breaks I, down the connective I, tissue I, instead I, of the cooking process, and it tastes no. different because if you don't caramelize the beef, it has a different flavor than a cooked steak. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. We'll look at carpaccio sometime. You'll bring a bunch of raw meat. I'll bring a bunch of eggs and crackers. <laughs> we'll see how many of us live through that in the podcast. Sounds great. <laughs> it's like a Russian roulette with just all the dishes we have. <laughs> I'll bring the chili. <laughs> I mean, you eat sushi? No, she doesn't well, really. I'll eat the sushi. You eat the one that's cooked. It's not real sushi. Yeah, you eat the stuff. I like can't. Ra- the idea of eating raw fish disappointed, does Ethan. seem pretty and awful. I'm deciding whether to be pedantic and point out that sushi isn't actually raw fish, but... Because it's the rice. Sushi. Boom. Mm. The man knows. Gotcha. Because I've probably done this before. No, you haven't. I, I found you it. You just knew? I, I knew that. The so sushi what? actually refers to the, the rice, not the uh, raw fish. Raw uh, fish is sashimi. Sushi is the vinegared rice. Gotcha. And so she is actually eating sushi, whereas if you eat raw fish without rice, you aren't eating sushi. That's the thing. I don't like sushi, but I'm fine with raw fish. If they would make it with just sticky white rice, I'd like it just fine. The thing is, I almost went to get some. Uh, I almost went to have sushi, and I, when I then I learned that it was different rice. I'm like, well, the one thing I was going to be tolerant about was the rice, and now it's like vinegar rice. I'm like, that doesn't appeal, vinegar doesn't appeal to me at all. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm even yeah. less appealed. Most of the kind I get is just like normal white sticky rice at the buffet. That's the best kind of rice. It's yummy. I, I will know? just eat I like them. plates of just white sticky rice. Just, yeah, just white rice. Yeah, it's so. calorie free. It's not. <laughs> yeah, you know it's good to do it with your leftovers of white rice. Eat it. In, no, in the morning you you mix it with some milk and heat it up, and then put milk, sugar, and cinnamon. That, what the fuck? That, that's oatmeal, no. basically. Well, no, no, <laughs> I, I, I know exactly what Casey's talking about. I, I, my mom used to make this for me when I was young. So you, yeah. I, I don't, I don't like it. Mom. What I you do with what? It. What you do with leftover white rice is you fry it, and that's what fried rice is. Like you pan fry it with some yeah, eggs and veggies and stock and stuff. Breakfast instead of cereal. Milk and rice. And Chicken cinnamon. fried rice isn't a good breakfast. And some, sh- and some sugar. Yep. Well, I mean, obviously sugar. I mean, I put sugar in everything. Well, it's- cinnamon, <laughs> sugar, milk, and the grain. Like I said, it's basically porridge, but with yeah. white rice instead of oats. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's yeah, I've had it before, but Yum. it's not. I don't know. I'm not a I fan have, either. I have a sugar problem. Oh, well, have you seen us? I think we all <laughs> have a sugar problem. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yep. I want carpaccio so much right now. <laughs> I'm thinking of cookie dough now. Yes. Because we were talking about raw eggs. Oh yeah. You got cookie dough. That's what I, I would get. sometimes make uh, cookies and then I would just like stop at the dough. I got the dough. That's as far as you need to go. Don't need to make this shit. By I would sometimes. Did yeah. you mean to say everyone always does? <laughs> because you ain't some, unique there. I'll sometimes like make one cookie. I made a cookie. This all counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You made cookie. You have leftover dough. I don't even get to the point of making cookies. I just just buy dough. Hey. <laughs> I made cupcakes last week for my last day of work. You didn't bring us any for the podcast? Wait, I, you're done with I had one. And you yeah. got one. Yeah. You were offered one. Are you unemployed? Oh, I was, yeah. I was offered one. You were offered one. When was this? Oh, when cool. you worked yeah. from home? Oh. Yeah, I worked from home as well. But gotcha. John was able to save me a cupcake. And I had one was the able next to day. save you a cupcake. Oh, yeah. it was well, thank her. you. But it's Duff Cake Mix. Duff? Duff as in Duff Beer? Yeah. Totally. It's spelt the no. same. Duff is like the ace of cakes main guy. Oh, that asshole? He's not an asshole. He, he's on reality TV. He can fuck himself. Cake boss. Sure. That's all I have to say is fucking cake boss. Yeah. His fucking New Jersey accent. I hate it. I hate it. But uh, Duff is much better. That doesn't mean he's not terrible. Wait, is, is, Every is, reality TV show wait, is terrible. Is this, is this a cooking t- reality show, though? Or is this, I mean, because that's not the same as... They're the not like competitions, like cakes. Hell's Kitchen or anything. Yeah. It's, it's, all he does. it's like Pawn Stars, except instead of a pawn shop, it's a bakery. 
And they go in there like, here's a random event that totally just naturally happened and isn't scripted at all. And then it's dumb. I've seen anyway, he makes awesome cake mix. <laughs> That's okay. how it ends. He makes awesome cake He mix. makes generic Duncan Hines cake mixes that cost twice as much because he's famous. I've seen her stab people no. before. <laughs> it's better than Duncan Hines. She you almost know what? killed somebody with Blind a car. Taste test. Did, she will hit you with a car. She hit you with my car. She's not in a car. I'm not scared. That's bigger. <laughs> Yeah, that just, she just said that. She had no problems with getting into an accident truck. with somebody else with a pregnant woman in the car. <laughs> yeah. So. You think you're safe in the second story, Nathan. She'll make it the up. The car story. will make it up there. She's like a Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do Daleks deal with stairs? Have uh, they ever answered that? They have sure? In the new version, their answer is that they can fly. Okay. In the original version, it was directly... There were two times in the old episodes where people were like, haha, we're upstairs, we can't get caught now. Nope, three times I lied that I can think of now, because I own the novelization of a lot of the old stories. Fuck you, I'm a nerd. In one of them, they sent an army of cyborg gorillas upstairs to murder them all. In another one, they blew up the entire building. And in the third one, they went back in time and killed the people. <laughs> So that's how Daleks deal with stairs? <laughs> yeah. All, right. All of those are perfectly fine ways to deal yeah. with stairs. Hey, creative. So- I mean, I'd be fair. Blood the building is a pretty good, easy solution. It's yeah. like, okay, there goes your building. The stairs go away, too. Yeah. And the people do as well. That's the side effect. They're really trying to attack the stairs. Possibly, yes. Otherwise, they would have went back in time and killed them like they did the other time. Well, you know, they like to mix things up. Kind of want an army of gorillas now. You know Katie's cooking channel. Katie does have a cooking channel on YouTube. She wanted she me on it one time, and then she never had me on it. I've been over there when they've when they've done it, and it's sort of like it would work. Re- like I'm not saying where this is a high quality product because uh, I've seen this, but their stuff really would work well for like uh, you know the uh, pu- public access TV stuff. <laughs> our production amazing. values are the best thing about our podcast. Yeah. It is highly polished garbage. Katie, I guess, Katie, because Katie's trying to be all good and she's helpful and saying how oh, she's made something, and then Jeremy's just there, like ruining everything. <laughs> that's that's their marriage. I know. It's just... God, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I make stuff. Casey ruins it. Uh huh. That's the way it goes, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my believing in face. <laughs> <laughs> yes means no. <laughs> Are you an otter? <laughs> <laughs> that would be no means yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Damn it. You ruined a perfectly good rape joke. <laughs> that was a legit one, too. I was proud of Brian for that callback. <laughs> And then John ruined it. Fuck John! I told you he ruined it. He ruins it. everything! <laughs> told you! He even ruins in-episode otter-based rape callback jokes. <laughs> that is a niche thing to ruin. God, I got skills. I, You know what we should do? It, it would be a, a very entertaining experiment. Murder John? <laughs> no, have, have Jeremy and John do the Legion episode update. No, that'd be terrible. We would both be drunk. Yeah. 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 And then Nathan would have to come bail us both well, out. No, because I want to see Nathan have to deal with <laughs> both you and Jeremy drunk. I would feel like Mo, and they'd be you. You can be Larry. I'm giving you Larry. I wasn't sure if he meant a local player Mo <laughs> or an actual Three Stooges. I was in my head like I'm not sure which way he's going oh, here. I, I, I was thinking you're going to be Mo as a Mo's tavern. <laughs> we, all, we all went completely we different direction. Right, and then you're Lenny. <laughs> there is a Larry there. Yeah. It's Lenny. Oh, it's Lenny. <laughs> Lenny and Carl. No, I thought you were talking about Larry. As in, as in the Larry. Guy? And his brother Daryl and his other brother Daryl? God, they need to come back. <laughs> they need to be on TV they again. They can't. They were a figment of somebody's imagination that and is, a dream within a show within a show. That is very true, too. Someone has a flow chart this episode. Tort flow chart this episode. <laughs> Also, flowchart all the Happy Days spinoffs. <laughs> That's Mindy. probably done already. Huh? That's Mork probably and Mindy. Been done. Well, you got Mork and Mindy. You got uh, uh, Love Amer- or you got uh, Laverne and Shirley. You got Joni Loves Chachi. And then the trick, I just ruined the trick because the, 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 the trick question is the fact that Happy Days is actually itself a spinoff. And people forget that. Mm-hmm. Because it's based on a sketch from Love American style. Yeah. Yeah. 
Cool. That's Inform- the gotcha. Is that like It's like TV? your head yeah. could have information no, that was useful. No, it's like 60s it TV. It's even further back. Yeah, that is. Yes, the back. 60s are further back than the 80s. Well done. I've at least seen Happy Days. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've seen Happy Days. I guess I didn't really realize when they were happening. Do you know who the Fonz is? Yes. All right. Hey. You there you go. Hey. So you've seen. That's all you need to that's know about Happy Days. Know. If you saw that Weezer video, you saw Happy Days. <laughs> and something about jumping a shark. Yes, that is where that comes from. Also, he uh, he biked Ike. He uh, backed Ike. There was an episode where he was voting for Eisenhower, and uh, uh, Richie Cunningham was voting for Goldwater. Not seen that. Now think about it. Which one do you remember as being a president? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she remembers neither of those being presidents, <laughs> and she's trying to cover that up. <laughs> oh, what? nothing. Why are you looking at me with judgmental eyes? I don't know how my eyes are being judgmental. They I'm sorry. Are. Eisenhower was a president? Yes. I was going to say Eisenhower. You were guessing? <laughs> yes. No, I wasn't guessing. Isn't he, he sounds more presidential than the other guy. Yeah. The I guy. like Ike. My bike likes Ike. That was the line I from the show. I don't remember what the other option was already. That's was fine. Presidents. America didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> And anyway, after, after this year, we'll have the last president, and we'll be able to be no one for real about it anymore. <laughs> Where, was it that uh, we'll be able to find out wh- if time travel exists? Oh, when, well, when Trump the is Onion elected? Had, the Onion had the thing where, or no, it wasn't the Onion. I think it was a different parody one, but they said that like insane asylums were filled to capacity with time travelers sent back to assassinate Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah cause it, well, we'll find out if time travel does exist because that would be, you know, somebody would be sent back in time to stop this. God, there's a video of a couple days ago. He had all the people at his rally actually raise their right hands like this to to pledge oh, allegiance dear. to him. Are you kidding me? They probably were supposed you, to do this, but they're you, all like they this. Were, they were pledging to vote. God. Yeah, just happened to the look video like is a mob Trump. of people doing this in front of Trump, and yeah. given his current, uh, you know, policies oh. about people of religions wearing oh. patches so that we can round them up, it's a really upsetting picture. Hey, there's my mouse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I was using the stupid pad on the Rep- uh, recommendations. <laughs> no, we got that many grumbles. Oh, I'm so excited! I didn't email it out. Did your wristband say seventy-eight eighty-nine? That's what? A, probably his I day. walked 7,889 steps today. I thought you stayed home Wait, and put so together something. I had to run some errands today. How good at that is at taking into account other things you do with your you, hand? You have to see, A, I've tested that. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you, you can tell if it's your primary hand or your, or your secondary hand. Like, like, so because I know it's my primary hand, it's a lot of motions I do, it just is like doesn't count. Other motions, it's like, oh, it's a good, good effort. It knows what you're doing. <laughs> Add some steps in there. It, yeah, it, it judges you. A yeah, bit. no, I can I can wave my arm around. <laughs> yeah, that burns calories. We'll call that a hundred steps. Exactly. <laughs> but no, it's actually surprisingly because that was my big thing. I was like, because I should. I mean, I could wear it on my on my non dominant hand, but then I would just be weird. I. You guys ready? I can't remember which hand I wear my watch on. It's been in the shop for so long. Non dominant. I think yeah, I wear it on my right because I think I wear it on the wrong. I can't remember. I miss it so much. I've been keeping it on my left. It's not here right now. Is yours in the shop as well? No, mine's no. sitting at home. Oh, because I forgot to put it on for. I can't months. wear a watch. My watch had to be shipped to a. The people here in town weren't skilled enough to repair it, so they had to ship it, and then they had to fix it and ship it back. So it's been like a month since I had it, and I'm sad. Yeah, because you have that open, uh, that more open. Yeah, the skeleton only, yeah. watch. For some odd reason, I, it seems like I can't wear a watch. If I wear a watch for too long, my skin just gets like weird and wet. Do you think it's like cirrhosis? Oh, just sweating underneath just it? Just sweating underneath Because I keep mine one notch yeah. looser is, than yeah, I think it's, I it's, should. It's, yeah, nice and loose. Yeah, because like if I do this, the watch can actually kind of spin yeah, back and jiggle. forth mine on my arm. Thing. You don't keep it taut because then mm. you get sweat underneath it and it's terrible. Oh, I hate you get loose watches. Wrists that way. Well, then there's <laughs> your issue. <laughs> there's my issue. You need yeah. a pocket watch. No. And a class I have a, I have a pocket watch, actually. It's yeah, it's called your phone. No. I have a follow-up pocket watch. What? I have a Vault 81 pocket watch. All right. Zappity grumbles? Zappity grumble. Uh, what is the best way to recoup my gambling losses after the Apollo Creed versus Ivan Drago fight? Recoup your what? Your gambling losses. Gambling losses. Yeah. <laughs> From Apollo Creed versus I would bet on Ivan the bad Drago. dude bears. 
Bad News Bears? I would bet on them to win. I would, yeah, I would put all my money into them to win. But I think the Bad News Bears already, ex- the movie already existed after Rocky IV. Okay, what came out after Rocky IV? Cool Running? There's got to be something earlier than that. Cool Running was the 90s. <laughs> I think that Olympic event actually happened before then, too. But the movie was after. The movie was after. And the movie has nothing to do with the Olympic event except for the fact that they're Jamaican. <laughs> Correct. At least they were actually Jamaican people. No, they, they were just black, you racist monster. I was like, what the hell? Hey, at least they were, at least they were black. John hey, Candy's not black. At least they were black. I mean, it could have been like all white guys playing the Jamaican sure. team. I, mean, I guess so. That's what they... Oh, my God. So, seriously, though, what were they supposed to do for the Michael Jackson biopic? Like, who were oh. they supposed to cast? Like, you can't cast a black guy. Well, it depends. It uh, honestly really depends on... You need on two what, actors, right? When you're going to be showing Michael... I mean... What period are you going to be showing Michael Jackson? Are you going to be showing him basically after after 1990? Then you're going to have to basically. You know, after, it, yeah, after 90. If you've watched the show Community, their mascot looks kind of like Michael Jackson. He's very pale. They could use him. Chevy Chase? <laughs> he's not the mascot. Uh, he's fat. But, yeah, you kind of, I think you have to pretty much use a white person for that role in that regard. So you do for, but if yeah. you're doing early Michael Jackson, then obviously not. So you need who two is, actors. Who is Michael Jackson? In Wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> who, is, who is playing Michael Jackson? I don't even know the actors. Some yeah. white person. It's That's all the, people The whitest about. person in the, the whitest act. I can't think of his name off the top of my Which head. Which is what you need. Like, it has to be Bandicoot Cabbage Patch because anybody darker than that doesn't look like Michael Jackson. They made the, uh, the, Daily, the Daily Show had a funny thing. Like, this guy doesn't look at all. They, they, just, you know, they made a thing how he doesn't look at, oh. like him at all. And then they like threw on a jacket and a hat. And go, I guess it does look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I did see that episode. Yeah. I can't think of the guy's name. Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I keep wanting to say Colin Firth, but it's not Colin Firth. Colin Farrell? <laughs> it's not Colin Farrell. Anyway, Zappity. Grumble. Zappity. Grumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When will Bryans enter the Thunderdome to know? When will the Bryans enter the Thunderdome to know who is the one true Brian? <laughs> we, yeah, still, we, we still might do a Brian Kai podcast yeah. at some point. We're up still to three. Well, we technically have a fourth. that wants to come on at any given time. Have this Brian sewed. Uh, Kerr, Kerr Lundeen. Who Cole. the fuck is Lundeen? <laughs> the one that hangs out. This has happened like Every four time. times. We see Brian all the time. He's always around. He's the quiet guy in the corner. He plays Menoth. He's really bad at the game. What? Still. Wasn't that Jeremy <laughs> Cofoot? <laughs> no, he's shorter than Jeremy. He's short. Yeah, he's a lot shorter. So, no. Quimby? I don't know what the fuck a Quimby is yet. What's What's a Quimby? I don't know. What? Who's you know, Brian Lundeen? Show me a picture. You've met him. No, I don't think so. I, you guys have played. I was or- thinking Cole You guys was played Orcs, Orcs, Orcs together. <laughs> I think I'm, you guys I'm have actually not, played crazy. against each other. Yeah, We've played games against him. Like, what? He he actually came to board game day one day. You've, you've, yeah, he's been, he was at no, our board game. He wasn't. Yeah, Casey couldn't come. Brian was there instead. Mm. What? What did we play? If you I, say orcs, 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 I'll punch you. <laughs> I don't remember. Orcs, orcs, orcs. Oh, that guy's name's Brian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Brian. <laughs> hi. And apparently, his wife's name is Amanda. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's my sister. sister. That was the pregnant, the pregnant one in the car. <laughs> oh, you have a sister? <laughs> I have two. He has two sisters. Is that a fat joke? <laughs> no, she doesn't count as two yet. That's oh, it's sister. not like Boffer in the Lord of the Rings card game? That's the other sister. So is that guy named Brian? That's Brian over there. Oh, that's the same Brian. That's I like how Brian's Brian. hovering in the background. I was trying to point at John. I was trying to point at John, but my finger stopped short, and then there was Brian creepily in the background in the shadows staring at the camera like a sociopath. I'm up for a, a Thunderdome, though, Brian. Hey, guess what? I know now that we have four Brians. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't know that guy's name. Why would I care? You get up to five, because Culp, Lundin, Kerr, oh, Geesey, yeah. That's yeah, it's four. four. <laughs> I Yay! Count- I'm not the stupid one anymore. <laughs> I counted Kerr twice. <laughs> well, to be fair. Is that a fat joke? <laughs> it wasn't intended as one. <laughs> no, I started with Kerr and then I ended with Kerr in my head. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm not sure I want you driving home. <laughs> Jeremy too is he amazing. Hit people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has been talking about it, but Jeremy too is amazing. He's, don't it'll go to his head just like it did Jeremy one. No. 
Jeremy was mad at me yesterday before before he left because I <laughs> Caverna game. That's kind of funny. What? That was pretty funny. I I play Caverna a lot. I'm pretty good at it. I'm a big deal in my meta. <laughs> so <laughs> I play with a lot of new people, and I'm trying. I'm, I'm playing a fairly casual game, and I'm buying new things. And Jeremy's like, "Oh, Brian's being really competitive." And like after like it's like a three hour game with all these new players, and it was it was I was an enjoyable game. I don't care the length was it not was, the length was not a problem because it's I enjoy every minute of it. But like the last turn, I got so sick of Jeremy complaining about it. So my last like every action, I just took a maximum point wise, and then I did end up winning just because I was so mad at Jeremy. So then he, then he got even mad that I won the game. But I'm like, I only won the game because you were bugging me for the last two fucking hours about being a dick. So every last every action I took was just mega points. Like if I, I could have. And I wasn't trying to tank it to be a bad player. I was just building things I never built. I was just kind of being slap. You know, I was just doing silly things. Yeah. I still made. I still had kind of a cool thing going, but it was nowhere near the level of you know craziness. And then so like the last turn, I just turned it up and just like blew the score away. And then, he you know, only won by ten points this time. Yeah, well, that's go. that's how Jeremy plays though. Sometimes he's he, he's he, very he, if he if somebody if he's like even remotely low in the score, he'll be like ah. Oh, I'll never win this, but and he, then he, he'll he, jump up at the end. Yeah, but I mean, so I did win the game, but he, he, he's like, he, he couldn't believe that I could just play the game. Because, I mean, we had a fun board game day yesterday, and like that game, I can just play Caverna and sit back and relax. Like, I don't care in that environment about getting a good score. It's just, I like the camaraderie of having like the four games going at the same time, and just the fun of it or whatnot. And mm-hmm. if everyone's played the game, I'll play competitively, like, I, you know, I, like, and, and whatnot. But it was just fun, and but he's like, for hours. So we kind of got a little tip at the end, because I, uh, he was complaining about me about to win, which I wasn't. Then I just had two. Then I decided, well, I'll just, I'll just make it more interesting than I won. Then he got even matter. So it was, <laughs> it was a fun little tiff. It was a game within a game. It was a game within a game. I, I uh, did somebody actually play Dungeons and Lords? Did that get, yeah, they, played? that played John yeah, and Casey we went played through. first. Yeah. And the experience what happens the first time you play Dungeon Lords, you get your ass fucking kicked in that game. Oh, it's bullshit. So weird. I got that. He had it. I didn't get oh, you. one area conquered. No, you did wipe that but shit. You and because the three of you played it, right? You guys yeah. and Ben. Was yeah. Ben Lang? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. that was cool, Ben, because Ben was up. And, but that but what happened to you and Ben is very common in the first game because shit can just go sideways in that game. It's got a lot of a lot of weird concepts. And the first time you play, it's like, okay, I lost. We I should, dodged the rogue. That's why I won. We should have a Vlada game day and just play Dungeon Lords and um, uh, Mage, Knight. Mage Knight and Through the Ages. First, and uh, you, so you want to play a Vlada weekend because you've gone beyond a day already. <laughs> you've already yeah. gone. You've exceeded the day. Well, this would be at the same time. We'd have like a dozen oh, people there. I thought you just like a marathon. Whoever can like. You know, I would do that. I would do a Vlada weekend where we literally played every Vlada game. Yeah. Mm. Those are all good games. They're you like Space Alert. Dungeon Lord was fun. It. What? Never played Space Alert. Oh, well, we should play Space Alert. Maybe. I, I, so here's how, here's how depressingly much I like Space Alert. So I bought a... So I was putting up clearance uh, price on stuff, and we had leftover stocking stuffers from Christmas, and a Bluetooth uh, speaker went on clearance. It was originally like $25. It went on clearance for $0.90. Cents. So I bought it because I'm like, I have a dollar in my pocket. So I bought it, and I was testing it out. And the way I tested it out was I played the Space Alert mission generator that I have on my phone. And so I listened to an entire just 10 minutes of the alarms on the ship making alarm noises and telling me about alerts coming in red zones and white zones. And I sat there for 12 minutes and just listened to it. So Fortress America. And I could see the game in my head. Versus whatever you were just talking about, which one wins? Well, Space Alert is my favorite cooperative game. Okay. And Forces America is my favorite war game. Gotcha. I was just wondering, like, so which one is your you, favorite between you, the two? You guys would like Space Alert, I think. I enjoyed Fortress America. Did you like Galaxy Trucker? Yes. You know when your ish. ship exploded? Like, when your ship's exploding and everything's falling off, yeah. would you like it if instead of just your ship exploding, all four of us had built that ship together? I would feel better about it, yeah. That's Space Alert. It's cooperative on one of those ships as it gets annihilated. Huh. We have to have a StarCraft weekend, and then we can have a lot of weekend. Okay. Well, we can do with the guy who designed StarCraft, because he also did Game of Thrones yeah. and uh, the other thing. There we go. We should, we should have, have designer-based weekend. I, I was going to suggest that, and I realized that, that it wouldn't happen. What? I was going to suggest that we each have like a game day weekend built on themes of games that we enjoy. We could do that as long as everyone agreed to shut up when they're at the other people's weekends and enjoy their games for what they are. Yeah. And that's what all would be. And then everybody would experience each other's favorite games, and I think we'd all be fine with that. 
I just know what I know that Brian would show up for my games. No, I would show. Come? Up. I'd come if you came and played our game. I, I mean, if, if yeah, I would, it's, if everyone did it. I have no the problem. only thing that's bad is when like if if Brian goes to your place and the whole, whole time we're playing Sentinels, he's bitching that you're not playing Caverna, and vice versa. If you're playing Caverna and the whole time you're just bitching that you'd rather play Sentinels, that's when that doesn't work. I've I've really tried stopping any type of bitching though when I'm playing a game that's not not one that I, I quite enjoy. Which I haven't really not enjoyed in a game I haven't I've played in a long time. Well, you also played the new game you played, Bring Out Your Dead. Bring Out Your Dead. Yep. Oh, did you you ended up buying you ended up buying that right? Because we I we it. played the demo at uh at uh ACD. I, I bought it and it sat in my garage probably like for six months. I enjoyed the game we played at ACD. Game is much easier to learn than I remembered because I sat down with the instructions and we just went through it and started playing it immediately. So who, who all played? Um, I ran a couple times. You um, had it with yourself, um, Amanda, uh, Travis. Travis. You had Ryan, Ryan, myself, and Jackie. Uh, Jackie. Uh, Ryan. Ryan was the first time around, but it was. Uh, I think it was Amanda and Travis. And I, That's a fun little game, though. It is. It is. I, I would like to play it with max five players because it at three players we were playing on that one side of the map, and it, it was. I was oh, you only use half the map at three? Uh, no, no, no. It's a, a flip over. Oh, that's game. right. I forgot about that mechanic. So, Sorry. But I was I was able to get bury all my family like right away, and everyone else is trying to play the the other parts of the system. The game ends when somebody finishes burying their family. Oh, so you just like steamrolled everyone? So and I just, just I just was just like everyone else is like I'm going to get Mo. some fake cards I'm going to get this and that well, I didn't realize it at first I, know. I, thought, I thought I'd try to make it clear that the whole point of the game is to get your family buried in the in the most profitable spots sounds really dark it's, well yeah you're, you're undertakers no 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 you're or not undertakers sorry you hire undertakers that's right yeah the, no no I thought no. you were undertakers because the bodies are on the uh, the no it's well, your own family it's your own family that you're trying to get buried because they died from the plague yeah and they, you have to take them down to the Undertaker's cart to go get them buried into a plot. You can also dump them in the river. Yeah. So what will happen is the cart... The <laughs> but you're cart not supposed to. You, that's bad for your score. Yeah. <laughs> the cart can only carry so many bodies on it. And if you take... Like, basically, you're walking down to the store, you're carrying bodies with you. And if there's no room in the cart, those bodies can't go anywhere. They have to go into the river. <laughs> you have a more complicated version of this game. Village? Okay. Yeah, because uh, that's the one where you have the people, and then they eventually die, and you have to get them into the plots. Before, well, you just but you just put them there. I mean, his, his game is literally his the whole. Goes, yeah, it's literally the whole. The, the map is basically the whole battlefield of Gideon. It's a game. graveyard. It's a graveyard. Uh, yeah, it's a graveyard. It's a graveyard separated but by a giant a cool river. Because remember, like you, you kind of bid how many bodies you want to get onto the cart, and the yep. lower bids go first, right? Uh the higher bids. Oh, the so, higher bids go first. So. You have, let's say, you know that the cart can carry only four, four possible spaces for bodies. Okay. So all three of you are trying to throw as many things as you can onto the cart. Yeah. And so if you bid too low, then you, there's no room on the cart, and you just dump them in the river. <laughs> <laughs> or if you bid too many of your of, because you have like spe like a special cards there. Like I'm going to put a double coffin on there. I'm going to put a single coffin. Um, but if you bid too many of those cards, yeah, people are going in the river. It's a lot like orcs, orcs, orcs. Yeah, it's very similar. <laughs> yeah. And then Andy just annihilated all the new players because he's... A he could. I lost the second game. There you go. Hmm. But the uh, first game I did definitely steamroll everybody, but everyone seemed to have fun. I got to play Blood Rage and Cthulhu Wars. Both are so much so much fun. That's my... Got to enjoy Time Stories. That was a neat game. Yeah. Cool. We debated before recording ever whether or not Time Stories counts as a game or an rpg or what the hell it is an rpg is a game i guess the g is right in there a board game or an rpg gotcha it seems it seems odd to me that you're paying 60 dollars for a game that in a sense there's no replayability other than buying an expansion for it that is true to an extent so the the core game is like 60 the expansions i think are like 25 or something yeah, so they're 15, more reasonable yep. uh but but even still so it plays four so if you pay the 60 for the first one and you play for six hours, like, that's, it's cheaper than the movies is, is, the, is the argument. And it's not you know? one game because you, you play it repeatedly until you beat it. So it could you, be multiple. If you guys beat an expansion in four games. Yeah. yeah and we, and we, generally, we the, the whole game you will beat, including the multiple runs, is usually going to be around a six-hour 
game because it's like two hours ish per attempt and it takes three or four attempts to beat the game fully beat it because it's basically like a time resetting as as you go through you fail a mission that but but you learn from that mission so you can apply it to going through it again Imagine if Sam from Quantum Leap mm -hmm. had leapt into the character from Groundhog's Day, mm -hmm. and so he was living them over and over trying to get the perfect day. Mm -hmm. That's time stories. Okay. All right. You're literally, you are from the future, you hop into somebody's body, and you live through this scenario over and over again until you beat it. Which is neat because it resets after every run, but the players gained information. Sure. So you know sure. stuff like next time we don't bother going over there because that guy's an asshole and he just wasted our time. And we don't do this because blah, blah, blah. In those kind of games, play and throw away, well, throw away quotations, but uh, like Pandemic Legacy is huge. And that's, I mean, you get more play. I mean, that, to be fair, you got, we got more plays uh, out of that. Yes. Because yeah, we play, I think, 14 times. Uh, we, we played 18, 18 because we 18. had six single and six doubles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, you know, yeah, a no. pretty good run. But again, but once we're done, that game is never played again. It's, it's trash. At least with time stories, um, people like Travis enjoy watching other groups play through it again. Travis mm -hmm. loves the watch, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, so for people with that personality, you, you can play it again in as much as then you almost take on the role of like the GM for other people playing it and just help them experience it. Sure. And then it's almost like watching a favorite movie or something with people who haven't seen it before. You have to vicariously enjoy the experience even though you know what's happening. So I, it, oh, I'll say one thing I wish would have happened instead is like, okay, this is the girl you're saving and he just kind of takes the card over and then does the... Like, having a GM in that game for the end would have been... Just because of that one it. little moment, and yeah. that's just a little gimmicky thing in that particular scenario. None of the other scenarios are like that. And I don't even mind it that much because, number one, that's just another clue that you're not going to get until your second or third one anyway. And number two, in the story it made sense because the card specifically said you get a chance to glimpse the DNA encoder. Yeah, but we don't know what her DNA actually looks like oh, as we're girl. finding her whatever we figured it out anyway in all, in all fairness i knew exactly which one it was after because i was right next Don't to it. Spoil it yeah oh yeah i'm not gonna okay <laughs> yeah no well i mean it's it yeah it's it seems like it's a game that honestly if you if you spoil it for somebody else it basically completely ruins the game yeah no no yeah, yeah. It's, it, it could so like the trailer to a movie <laughs> all right deputy um a couple here that popped up on the <laughs> the fuck was that question even I don't even know. All right. But anyway, uh, favorite position, backward, square leg, third man, or deep point? What in the hell are we talking about? I think it's favorite position. Entendre. I'm going to go with the, the deep, what? The third one. Third man. I like third man. Third man? That sounds too dangerous. What's the options? Uh, backward? Or, yeah, I'm not sure if it's, oh, no, it's backward, square leg. <laughs> third man or deep point? Oh, actually, I'm just, now that I know it's one thing, I'm going with the backward square leg. I would say leg. backward square leg seems like the obvious choice. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah. Casey? Totally. <laughs> so lost right now. Join the club. <laughs> just choose one, two, or three. One. Okay. That's the backward I'll square leg. I'm on a bandwagon here. Zappity. Rumble. Uh, time story Zappity. So other friends who've played are cool with both taking notes during play and retaining them between runs. I call those people... Filthy cheaters. Thoughts? Agreed. No notes. Um, I've beaten the first two scenarios with no notes. Uh, the first one, argue, there's an issue in the first one that I allow either note-taking or blatant cheating, and this isn't a really a big spoiler, but there's, there's items you pick up, and you take the items with you as you do stuff in the game. Mm -hmm. And you use the items to help you, like, with, with clues and stuff. Like, they might have writing on them and things like that. For no reason whatsoever, in the scenario that comes with the game, there's an item that is pocket-sized, like, in the game. Like, it's, it's like a notebook-sized little thing that isn't an item you take with you, and it has information on it that you need for later stuff. And so the game, for no viable reason, just makes you memorize that card instead of just having it in your pile like you do all the other items, mm -hmm. and that's stupid. So that card, when we played it, we just said, well, that's fucking stupid, and we just took the card with us. Well, that seems legit. Yeah, and so, but apart from that, we never had to take any notes. Yeah, but if, like, you go through and you fail, you throw away your notebook. Yeah, yo, it went back just like any other yeah. item. We treated it like a takeable item. That's gotcha, the gotcha. only thing we did that was arguably cheating because the game doesn't tell you to take that other one, but we didn't have to take notes. Yeah, no notes. You have brain pans. 
My brain don't work. Durr. My brain hurts. Zap it. Zappity. Rumble. That's it. That's all I saw. Recommendations. Yep. Yep. Keep it short. Recommend something, John. I'm going to go ahead and recommend Time Stories, actually. That was a lot of fun. Shut up, bitch! Was it already recommended once? No. Okay. No. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> Great. Cool. Awesome. In depth. <laughs> that was an amazing <laughs> just, recommendation. <laughs> Thank you. We just had a nice chat about it. I know. I don't need to go on. <laughs> Casey, what do you recommend? I recommend Cold Stone Ice Cream. Is which it? we're going to after this, I think. Are you going to do the thing where you get every single mix in and it ends up being like 50 no, pounds of... No, I... That's a challenge. We've sort of done that with milkshakes, but not quite. Uh, they have like three um, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. Superman, Batman. Wonder Woman, and Superman? <laughs> Batman, I meant. Like, I, like, I like the Superman, <laughs> Wonder Woman, Superman. That's, just, that's a good sandwich. Like yep. that, that, that's where she looks at it. She's just like, Batman shouldn't I be able to exist movie. in this movie. <laughs> But they have like those special creations right now, and I want to try the Batman one. So. What's the Batman one? Tastes like dead parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's chocolatey goodness. It's ch- it's, it's Reese's peanut butter. Why? Or no, it's no, not. No, no, no. It's, that it's on the same page as that one. I they have another oh, one that's another all. Reese's. There is a new one. It's called Reese's Nothing But Peanut Butter Cup. No ice cream. So it's literally just they sell you a Reese's peanut butter cup. No, they just no. infuse peanut butter cup in every it's, part of it. It's chocolate peanut butter uh, ice, cream. ice cream. Well, then it's not nothing but a peanut butter cup. Reese's peanut butter cup, Reese's peanut butter sauce, and rich chocolate. That's fries. even more things that aren't a peanut butter cup. It has. I was joking about the ice cream because obviously you need the ice cream to hold the peanut butter cup, but it has two different sauces as well. Yeah. Can you sue for false advertisement? <laughs> But, but they're the, both from Reese's. So the they just but it doesn't the, say nothing say but Reese's it products. It doesn't but say nothing but Reese's peanut butter and chocolate. It says nothing but Reese's peanut butter cup. Batman looks like it's just chocolate ice cream with chocolate sprinkles and Oreos. She's now depressed because fudge. she was thinking about the Reese's one. Yeah. Reese's is... So, peanut butter and chocolate are so magical together. Superman. I miss those commercials. Mm-hmm. It looks like strawberry shortcake. Weird, weird accidents. I'm bored with your ice cream now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> we've all we're all moving on from the have, ice cream. Have you seen the or read the comic with uh, the Batman joke with uh, Riddler saying oh. that the riddle oh, yeah. to Batman is like what what goes down an alley that has holes in it? Yeah. It's like my parents. <laughs> like no a no. bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's all tuckered out. <laughs> I had a nice line car seat. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't have a recommendation until she mentioned Reese's, and it made me think of Reese, and now I'm going to recommend the fact that Malcolm in the Middle is on Netflix. Nice. And that show is fucking amazing, and it holds up. It might be the best TV show that Brian Cranston has ever been on. Speaking of Netflix. Malcolm in the Middle is amazing. And I found a little bit of... Th- somebody pointed out something about I mean, this. it is amazing. <laughs> His character in that show is a prodigy at everything he ever does. He's an incompetent moron, but if you rewatch the show, every time, like every episode, he'll like be a painter or a speedwalker or he'll be a whatever, and he's always the best person ever at that thing. He's just so dumb about it that you don't notice. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You've seen the the Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 What were you saying about Breaking Netflix? I was going to say, Netflix has Blue Mountain State movie on it now. It does, which Andy said he was kind of disappointed in, but it's at like three and a half stars on it's it, so fine. I was almost It's fine, it. it's fine, but it is, it, it could have been a half hour episode. <laughs> Fair. I would have rather had ten half hour episodes. Hey, have you wanted to see some of the characters' penises? Is that a thing you said, man, I like the show, but I wish I could have seen some penises. <laughs> is one of them um, the chick from Wild Things, Denise Richards? Do you see her she penis? Isn't, she's she's not in it. No. Yeah, she dropped out of it. I know, which is why we didn't pledge him on Kickstarter because we would have been cheated out of our reward. There are plenty of good quotes from that show, though. There's some. It, there are some great moments. It is, yes, it does. Wait, it's worth watching. It's, we haven't it is, watched it yet. It yep. is Maybe a tonight. thing you should watch. Penises or <laughs> peni. I might have to watch it again just What's so the I can get away from that. Mm-hmm. Depends on if it's Greek or Latin. The Fair. penis. A Greek penis. Or a Latin penis. Mine's German. <laughs> oh. Is it a seals? So he calls us Frank. <laughs> or is it an otter? What? I got nothing. Frank? Yep. Really? Yep. Those are French people. That's, yeah. Oh. Mine just wears a little picklehauser. Is is that your word for a condom then? 
It could be. That's the helmet with the spike yeah. on top. Like I said. <laughs> oh, my poor wife. <laughs> we say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do, too. Like, I was thinking today, I'm like, man... I don't deserve a woman as good because I'm a terrible person. But you know how terrible of a person I am? I know I'm a terrible person, and I'm not going to do anything to improve myself as a husband. <laughs> Someday I'm going to say, oh, Nathan was murdered by Raleen today. <laughs> okay. And it's going to be like, yeah, that's, we're all, we all know it's coming. We yeah. all know it's going to end up. Yeah, because she won't just leave me. She will cut me to death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. I saw, she, she, she didn't make that post on Facebook. So, I mean, it literally was a strange. <laughs> and then I won't you leave him. I'm going to cut him to death. Oh, my God. All, all of John's friends offer to help me bury the body when I do it. <laughs> nice. It's, it's true, but no one offers me to help bury her. <laughs> what are you going to recommend, Andy? Wait, I thought you were recommending. Uh, he wants I, to I recommend. I recommend Xerxes 2. <laughs> okay. Is he that good? He doesn't, he's, he's, he's the best. He's fun. Yeah. Ride by attacks. You can do ride by attacks. I know. Remember, you can douche out things like admonition with ride by attacks. He doesn't have admonition. No, but <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> so I. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> how do you douche it up? Because you 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 stop for your combat attack. So no, you did not end your movement. You are pausing your movement to do your combat action. Yep. Your 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 movement does not end until after you complete your ride by attack after your combat action. So you go. I'm doing my ride by attack. I'm do, going an inch. Yep. You're now in melee. I'm pausing my movement. I have not ended my movement. Therefore, admonition, counter charge, counter slam do not trigger because all of them require ending your movement, which I have not done. Smashy, 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 oh, smashy. Yeah, that, yeah, that, and then you walk away. I thought you meant something else. But yeah, that's correct because it's part of the movement. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. yeah. So you can totally like correct. fuck people over with that. Yeah. No, I'm. I hear you. Uh, Especially Travis he have, like, he has, like, a knockdown or something on his thing. Travis is upset with you. Why? That's true. He said, you're not supposed to explain that. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to that. Well, to be fair, I thought you... I didn't know what you meant. I, Why does Travis not want me to explain that? That's, that's, I, what you just said to me was obvious, though. I, th I thought you yeah, were going some other weird you're, direction. You're better than these scrubs. That's true. And I played a lot of... I played a lot of Xerxes, too, like, so... We never talk about War Machine to disguise the fact that we're actually not bad at it. <laughs> well, we... We used to be better. We used to be better. We're knowledgeable still. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those who can't teach. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My recommendation to, to end this quickly is uh, a game that I actually recommended before, Broforce. Broforce! It's available for free on the PS4 for uh, PlayStation Plus. It is an amazing action side-scroller that Nathan can't jump in. If you're playing as a character that isn't B.A. Brorakis, never rescue anybody because when you rescue people, you get randomly shifted to a new character and they might shift you to B.A. Brorakis and then you'll just die because he's, he's fucking amazing. useless. You know what's great in a game where enemies shoot at you from across the screen? A flamethrower? A, a glorified melee weapon. Yeah, he can actually mine very well. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that flamethrower. Flame and he tunneled right through that <laughs> yeah, mountain. You just skip the level. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, then you just fly in a pig to do that. I have, I, have I, have a pig. I have a final announcement for the podcast. Uh, me and Jeremy are going to be playing The Division on the PS4, which comes out on Tuesday. If you want to play with us or you have a PS4, let me know. Except if I don't like you, then uh, you what? can't play with us. It's The Division, the first-person shooter XCOM game? It's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's a third-person third. Third, third kind of RP action oh, the game. thing I'm thinking of? Say know. what you said again. There was, a, there was an XCOM shooter it was XCOM supposed to be two? sort of like that, but it ended up not. You're talking about the Barrow? I think yeah, maybe I'm thinking about That's the Barrow. That's an old game. This, this is just a uh, yeah, this is just a newer game is coming out. It's 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 like a shoot 'em. It's it's honestly like an MMO, but it's all based on shooting. Yeah, it's third person versus first person. Yeah, it's just a game we're gonna be. I mean, yeah. Think it, honestly, I almost think of it as almost like a, a Borderlands, but a set in real time or our time. Yeah. With uh, with guns and third Borderlands person. might be set in it's our like time. It's like Borderlands with guns. Yes. Oh, like okay. With guns. <laughs> That's the one big thing that Borderlands was missing was guns. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we are we killing this now? Bye. Bye. Bye.